Right, so uh, this is the uh, the chapel at Formwood. Um, we've just had an absolutely stunning service, uh, Teze Day uh, morning service led by uh, Louis van der Ritt, uh, one of our colleagues here, and it was an absolutely beautiful time of prayer and uh, reflection. And uh, looking forward to uh, uh, a day and a bit here at uh, Formwood, where we are reflecting on uh, poverty, inequality. Uh, development in South Africa and as you can imagine um, these are very very complex uh, issues um, not the least of which uh, they primarily deal with uh, the suffering of human persons and creation and uh, how we address um, what what people experience because of uh, broken economic systems and uh, the way in which uh, economies are structured uh, so that the poor remain poor and uh, the rich become richer. Uh, last night, uh, the president of the South African Council of Churches, uh, Bishop Malusi Mbawana, spoke to us about uh, the role of the churches in, in uh, engaging this particular issue. And of course, in South Africa, we need to remember that the economy is structured uh, by people who belong to these churches. About 85% of South Africans uh, are profess to be Christian and so those who are in business, those who are in government, who set policies and even those who are consumers uh, in the market are all uh, members of churches and so the way in which we think about this, the way in which our faith uh, should shape this is important and he reminded us again that um, according to uh, what we read in the scriptures we should have a preferential option uh, for the poor, we should find ways uh, to engage and care for and provide um, a society in which the least, those who have the least access uh, to what they need for their daily survival are cared for most. <coughs> he also reminded us, excuse me, he reminded us again last night that uh, in South Africa, because of apartheid, uh, our society is still structured and our economy indeed is still structured that uh, black South Africans uh, remain consumers and laborers only. Uh, in the South African economy and of course that does mean that um, business and the economy is still predominantly uh, driven and uh, managed by white South Africans and so I certainly believe that there is some white work to be done some things that uh, white South Africans should be doing uh, with family members and friends who hold positions of influence uh, in South Africa in relation to business and the economy. And uh, the, the second thing that he reminded us of is that uh, the church in South Africa is perhaps one of the most pervasive institutions. Uh, there are more churches in South Africa than there are branches of the African National Congress. Uh, every single ward in South Africa, uh, they calculate, has approximately 20 churches. And uh, if each one of those churches was simply to care for the needs of every family in their community and each ward was to think not only about the immediate needs, survival, but also the long-term uh, care, so more than just charity, a sustained, uh, loving, gracious, uh, forward-thinking presence. Of what might it mean not only to uh, give soap and toys and food uh, to children in a creche, but thinking about how do we structure society so that when those children are 20 years old, they can have the dignity of work and be able to provide for their family. So he really challenged us to think uh, as a nation in which the church and Christianity is so pro uh, prominent, what is there that we could do in order to address this problem? So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the next uh, couple of days. Uh, you may have heard the breakfast bell uh, ringing. While, uh, while I've been talking, so I need to uh, wrap up here and, uh, and get to breakfast. So thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in this particular uh, topic, I'll put some links in the show notes to, uh, to one or two brilliant uh, articles and books that I think may be of use, in particular the work of Ignatius Swart and uh, my colleague uh, Nadine Bowers de Toy in our context in theology and development, I think are quite interesting. And uh, I'll put some links to their work in the show notes. So thanks for watching. Um, please do subscribe if you found this video useful. And remember there are a whole lot of other videos on my YouTube channel, uh, Dion Foster on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Digital Dion or hook up with me on my website. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to head to breakfast.